Sean, you got to enjoy some time away uh, the rest of June and then July as well. How'd you, how'd you spend your time off for getting back here? Uh, spend it with my family, man, wife and kids. Uh, we uh, spent a lot of time with my mom and dad, her mom and dad, my wife's mom and dad. Um, went to Cabo, so that was fun. Me and my wife got away on a little romantic getaway, you know. <laughs> but uh, it was good, man. It was good to have some time off and recover and, uh, you know, try to get better as we, you know, as we go. So it was good. You're just over 24 hours into it, got your first practice under your belt. How's it gone so far? It was good, man. I, I think the guys came back uh, prepared uh, for one because, you know, as far as our, our speed, you know, you definitely have to be prepared for it. And I think the guys did a great job in the offseason of staying, staying ready and staying uh, in condition. So we came back and executed a few plays, man. We definitely look good. You're a veteran, so you know what to expect by and large. So what's your favorite part of camp outside of it being over with? Hmm, that's a good question. I don't think I, anybody ever asked me that one. Uh, just being with the guys, uh, really. I mean, it's, it's like I said, when I first got here, it's a great special group of guys, man. Everybody is, is, is like brothers, you know, joke on each other. You know, nobody gets mad and, you know, everybody's just just having fun, man. That's the most important thing. What's that environment like with 90 guys in one hotel, uh, you know, getting a lot of camaraderie going on? But what's that environment like? Uh... It's pretty good. I mean, it's, we spend most of our time here. So once everybody gets back to the hotel, everybody's ready to kind of crash and, and go to sleep, uh, during, especially during camp. But, uh, it's, you know, it's good to be around the guys when we're here. Any roommate this year? Nah, man, I'm vetting the game now. I don't have a roommate. <laughs> there you go, living the perks, living the high life. Exactly, man, it's good. So when you're getting ready, you're packing your bags. What's the go-to? What do you have to have every year, your essential training camp? I got to have some nice shoes, some nice cleats. So you look good, you feel good. Look good, feel good, play good, right? Good. And you know what happens when you play good, they can pay good. So, got to have some nice cleats. That's the idea. One thing leads to another. Now, when you get out here on the field, what teammate are you looking forward to going against uh, throughout this month? All the linebackers. All of them. No, I don't have a specific one. All the linebackers, pretty much. Who's the best trash-talking linebacker? Uh, I would have to say Ray Ray. Ray Ray Armstrong. He probably talked more trash than any of them. How about fueling the body? Favorite thing to eat during camp? Hmm. I don't have a favorite, but I have a favorite snack I get. I got like a, I ordered like a box of them. It's, they're called apple chips. You ever heard of Seneca apple chips? Yeah. Pretty good. I got like a t 12 pack order from Amazon. Amazon Prime, you got Amazon Prime? I don't, but I've heard it does wonders. Oh man, Amazon Prime, you gotta have it. What a company man, oh, yeah, shouting yeah. out the partners. Oh yeah. All right, just pay me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, finishing up here. You don't get much downtime, but when yeah. you do, are you finding the secret nap spots? Are you watching Netflix, FaceTime with your family? You uh, got games on your phone? Kind of all of the above, except for the games. I have, uh, I'm watching Hell on Wheels on Netflix right now. I bought a, uh, like this massage thing that massages your feet, your calves, and your thighs from uh, Brookstone. And that's kind of been my, my, my go-to right now. Uh, you know, just recovering and, and making sure the body's good.